And the Lord said, remember the days of old when prayers would be prayed, things would be set, hearts would be open and cries would be lifted to God. And while heaven heard on high, and it was heaven's heart to respond, the move from heaven's throne to the, to the, into the mouth and then into the evidence among men was long time. It took a long time. Heaven would speak, but it would take a long time for men to hear and to repeat what they heard. And then men would speak what the heavens had spoken, and then it would take sometimes ages it and, and 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 ages of time would go by before they would see what would happen those words you see were seeds remember the word that says the sower sows the word and so the words would be sown the prayers would be sown the words would be sown the prayers would be sown and there would be a little sign of harvest a little, a little blade would poke through the ground, first the blade. Then there would be an ear, and then eventually a full product of fruit would come. Oh, but not in this day and in this hour, saith the Lord. For these are the days and the, uh, the hours of Amos where the, the sower and the reaper are working so fast together that there's a sowing and a reaping and a sowing and a reaping. So the prayers speak forth the words whether they be by the language that is known or by the language that is known in the heavens. By the language that is known in the heavens among the angels and the saints that are there and, and the language that is known at the throne of God. Either way, when it's the language of faith, those words are still words that there are seeds and the seeds are sown, but the harvest is right on the heels of the sowing. The harvest is on the heels of the sowing. So sow your seeds seeds. Sow, sow your words. Sow your prayers. Sow them. Sow them. Sow them. Sow them. For the more you sow, the more you plant, the more you put in, the faster, saith the Lord, I can bring forth a mighty harvest. A mighty harvest. A mighty move of God in all of the earth. And it's true, the whole earth will be filled with the glory. But remember, this is the law, not only of the natural, but it's the law of the spirit. Something goes up before it can come down. So lift up your voice. Lift up your prayers. Lift up your faith. Lift up uh, your spiritual heart's cry before the throne of God. And I will respond, saith the Lord. And in my response, you will be lifted. You will be lifted into the glory of my presence. And through you, through the prayers that you pray, the words that you speak, and the life that you live, the whole earth will be filled with my glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Amen.